So for this process, you're obviously going to have to start with the dirty wig. And I haven't worn this wig in like over a month. And the last time I wore it, it was in like a gel down slick back. And yeah, so it's just super busted up and just raggedy right now. So I'm just going to take this Garnier Whole Blends Eliminating Shampoo. And I'm just going to wet the wig first and you want to get it like thoroughly wet the cap and everything because like pretty sure your wig is dirty might not be as dirty as mine but it's dirty okay and you want to get it clean so now i'm going to take the shampoo and i'm focusing it on the the um what's it called the cap mostly because that's where like the most dirt and residue is in the hair well on the wig and I'm just gonna massage like the cap or massage the shampoo into the cap so it breaks down the residue and like all of the glue and stuff on the hairline and it also cleans all the sweat and dirt in the cap and whatnot and um and then I'm gonna like just lather the rest of the shampoo into the wig to clean the actual hair. The hair wasn't that dirty itself and I don't really like to shampoo hair that much, but yeah, I'm just doing that and lathering it in there and then I'm just gonna rinse that out. And as I was rinsing, I was like, rubbing my thumb against any like leftover residue and then like rinsing it off so there wasn't any leftover residue like I just said that's the point Once I have all of the shampoo rinsed out, I'm just going to wring it out a little bit. And as you can see, we are now left with clean lace, no glue residue, no none of that. All right, I'm just gonna take this Ren Pair Original Coconut Cream Nourishing Conditioner and it has no sulfates, parabens, and all of that. And I probably should use the shampoo that was the same, but I just, I don't know. I got that shampoo because it was pretty. But um, I'm just gonna squirt a few squirts into the wig and I'm just gonna lather that through. And I'm not focusing on like really lathering the conditioner through all the way. I'm just like getting it a little soft so I can detangle it. And then I'm going to take a comb out brush and I'm just gonna comb the ends first. So I'm gonna work my way from the tip to the root. And I like to do this so it doesn't get even more tangled by starting at the roots and just working my way down. So yeah. And then once all the tangles are out from the bottom, I'm going to go to the top and get all the tangles out from the top of the wig. And yeah, I'm just going to do that until the whole wig is untangled. And I know I probably sound stupid this whole entire voice over. Oh my gosh, I sound stupid right now. But it's 3 o'clock in the morning, so that's why. But anyways, I'm going to take some more conditioner after it's detangled. And now I'm focusing on really saturating it in that conditioner. So, like, it soaks. So the hair soaks up all the conditioner. And it's really just, like, moisturized. And, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. And once the hair is fully detangled and fully saturated and like silky like, I am going to just hang it up and I'm going to leave it there for about an hour so it can just really soak into the hair. And then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to rinse all of that out.
And once all of the conditioner is rinsed out, I'm just going to wring, well not really wring it out, but I'm going to squeeze um, a good amount of water out of the hair. Now I'm just going to take a towel and I'm going to do the same thing that I was doing in the tub and I'm just going to squeeze the hair with a towel so I don't like have to, like you know how people rub their hair when they dry it, yeah, don't do that with a wig because it'll just make it like super frizzy and even more tangled than you want it to be, so yeah, just squeeze and pat dry the hair so you can avoid it. Uh, avoid tangles as much as possible and now you should be left with a tangle free super soft residue free wig like you see here and once you have that you're just gonna go ahead and dry it and I just like to dry the inside of the cap or just the whole cap, you know what I mean? The cap and the lace, whatever. Just dry it so when you put it on your head, it's not wet. And that's really all. You don't have to dry the hair. You can style it however you want to. Let it air dry. That's what I did. So yeah, after it is fully dry and whatnot, you can, boom, put it on, style it, and you are good to go. Now you have a clean wig. Tangle free, super soft, super shiny, and you're popping. Got it going on. So, yep, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.